is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of you guessed it down the fairway been a while since i've done one of these i apologize but we are back and i have a special guest for you giving his number one tip for long jump putts ezra bring it in it's good hey what's up guys so one of the things that really impressed me with Ezra last season is his outside the circle putting really improved. That was one of your best things. And so what I want is I want you to give the viewer, these guys, what is that number one tip? Why do you do it and how did it help you improve in a season, especially when you were a pretty good putter to begin with? So here is him explaining how that happened. I, mean, I think one of the main things from this last season versus the prior season is that I kind of developed both a step putt and a jump putt. So it gave me a lot more diversity as far as what the ground kind of called for. So if, you know, depending on the slope, if I want to jump putt or step putt, I could kind of go to both of those. I think that helped a lot just to give me the, the different options. Since you don't know what kind of wire you're going to have, what kind of shape you want out of the disc, what kind of wind you have, things like that. So having both is really important. I'm going to talk about step putting today because I think that's probably a little bit more of my strong suit. Um, the main thing, the main benefit, one of the main benefits that I think step putting gives you is just an easy way to add more pace to the actual disc. And when you're 40, 50 feet away, it's a lot easier to get the disc to the basket because of that power that you generate from the step and from your legs as opposed to trying to just use your arm to get all the power though. So I think using the step putt to get the power, you can then more focus on kind of the arm and the hand and the wrist Brad's trying to kill me. <laughs> and uh, that can kind of let you focus more on aim and height and spin rate with your hand and arm as opposed to trying to focus on power too. So it kind of simplifies um, that whole process. So a couple of key elements with step putting, and I kind of show them right now. Um, you want to make sure your body is stepping straight towards the basket to kind of keep everything in line and help with aim in that way as well. So for me, what I like to do is I kind of like to start with kind of a rocking back motion to kind of load onto that back leg and start the whole movement to where once I get back, it's kind of like, like a back swing. You have to have a back swing before you actually have a, you know, a pull through and follow through. So rock back, line up as you're doing that. And then as you step through, I bring my disc into my midsection. And then when I feel that point where I'm kind of balanced on just my right leg, that's when I push forward, lead with my left leg, and then, you know, pop the disc to the basket. And one thing that's really important with step putting is since you're getting more power from the legs and more power into the disc, you have to make sure that the spin rate is there to match. If you don't have enough spin on a step putt or a jump putt, um, it's, it's, it's a lot easier for it to come out floppy and not as controllable. So you have to make sure, especially like on a step putt or jump putt, to really get the spin into the disc as well to stabilize the disc. And it helps cut through wind better and you know keep the disc going straight and more distance and everything like that so definitely make sure you keep the spin rate up as you're gaining power with the step putt pretty good at it I'm gonna admit thanks, and thanks for saying that I had a little something to do with it you had a huge impact on my life man. oh my it's like god my whole career is for this one moment I just wanted to be on I just wanted to be on down the fairway that's for you guys. and now I'm retiring because uh there was no big old accomplishment I could accomplish in this that's cool. well don't quit because you have too much talent to quit you're making too many putts you know one of the things that you were talking about that really clicked with me was your rhythm going forward where you aim it, the reasons that you do it, I'm sure these people will be able to pick out something that's gonna help them, and that's what this series is all about. We really appreciate you joining. That's Ezra Aderhold, and uh, till next time, we will see you guys down the fairway. Like and subscribe.